I had the chance to speak with Georgia Congresswoman Carolyn Bordeaux about the legislation today. Joining me right now, Congresswoman Carolyn Bordeaux, and thank you for being with us. We appreciate it, Congresswoman. Good what's, to be here. What's happening on Capitol Hill right now with the George Floyd Justice in Policing Act? Can you give us an update? So this is legislation that would bring more accountability around policing. Um, it would have a national um, registry of police misconduct, so policemen couldn't go from one jurisdiction to another, uh, you know, after they had some real serious problem in a previous jurisdiction. Um, there are a lot of important pieces in that. It has passed the House and is currently uh, awaiting consideration in the Senate. Your district is very diverse, and, and Georgia's seventh, which includes parts of Forsyth and Gwinnett County. What have you been hearing from constituents about this case, not only today in the aftermath of the verdict, but, but certainly the impact and the ramifications of what this case represents for the district, for the state, and for the country, for that matter? So I know uh, I talked to a lot of people over the past few weeks as the case was being tried and everybody was watching it, and it was just... It was very tough to watch it uh, again, and um, I think... The feeling is broadly shared is a relief that justice was done, um, but also a recognition that this is just one step uh, towards uh, dealing with these issues and that further steps like building more community policing, doing police training, and things like the passage of the George uh, Floyd Justice and Policing Act are very important next steps. Do, do you have any other thoughts about policing, about community policing, uh, aside from the big ticket issues of Congress and all of that, and in your life experience, what's your view of minority communities and policing and what you believe are better steps toward making our communities, no matter where they may be, much better than they are today? Well, I think it is making sure we have broad recognition, um, including people who are white like me, you know, recognizing that um, if you're black, you have this very different often relationship with the police and one that is very frightening. Um, I don't know how many, you know, black friends, neighbors who I've talked to who have had some kind of really threatening encounter with the police. Um, I had some friends who were, um, you know, driving uh, on the interstate and they were pulled over, you know, just middle class family and they were treated like drug drug dealers. Their car was searched from top to bottom. And I just think recognizing that that is a very common experience in the black community and then recognizing we need to reform our police. We need to rebuild that trust uh, between the police and between the very diverse communities in the 7th District and yep. Gwinnett and Forsyth. Yeah, those issues are very large. I, I graduated from college 40 years ago and, and I work with a, a number of people, a number of black men that are my age. I don't have any experiences with police, but they all do, and they all relay these stories of which I cannot understand, nor have I experienced, but at the same time, I want to be able to understand, I want to be able to listen. Do, do you think that that is uh, a major center point that we could begin with of listening to these experiences of which many of us do not have any? Uh, absolutely, and I just think, you know, taking that moment, you know, listening to, to, to those experiences is very important for all of us. Um, and then we, we need to bring that into our police force. And I've been very pleased to see some of the conversations that we've been having uh, around Gwinnett and Forsyth, uh, where our police have really been reaching out. And of course, there's the black community. We also have had anti-Asian uh, violence. Um, so reaching out to really the diverse communities in the seventh district and try to build that connection between the police and the community. So you have that trust, you reestablish that trust, and I think that's just so important going forward. Congresswoman Carolyn Bordeaux from the 7th District, we always appreciate you joining us on uh, the 11 Alive stations, and uh, thanks again for being with us. Good to be here.